Ladies and gentlemen, plenty of tier lists for season 4 healers, so instead I decided to make a short video to present my thoughts and let you know what I'm planning to play in that season. As we do that we have to keep in mind something that you probably already know but Blizzard decided to nerf some of the healers in order to bring back up Holy Paladin, Preservation Evoker and Holy Priests. So as a result Restoration Druid is going to be doing 5% less healing overall, 13% for Mistriever Monk and 5% nerf for Restoration Shamans with Discipline Priests getting some nerfs to their rate healing but not N+. All of that seems to be a direct result from the charts that we see for rate healing where the top 3 specs definitely pump up a little bit in front of everybody else but I have no idea why they nerf Restoration Shaman, we're gonna talk about this later as well. Now there were better ways to address this issue because the nerfs affect M plus as well and I do think that this is very wrong because of the Holy Paladin example with the 10.1.5 patch when they got a rework. They felt so nice to play that I actually had a couple of friends come back to the game just to play that class and that spec but then the nerf started and right now Holy Paladin is almost in unplayable state. Healing on it feels so bad that even some big time main Holy Paladins decided to play something else this tier. And my biggest concern here is that starting with the nerfs at the start of season 4 is just going to bring down those other classes probably to the level of Holy Paladin at some point and make them very unenjoyable to play. Not to mention that in season 3 healing actually didn't feel that well and there were a lot of healers who actually switched to DPS. So I think that the right strategy here would be to buff those classes that didn't perform that well and bring them up to the level of the others. And we'll have to see how all of this plays out but let's talk about specific specs right now. The biggest winner must be Preservation Evoker as they're getting their old tier set back which is not bad for M+, and they're also getting a legendary to play with in season 4. The fact that they were the best of the so called underperforming classes and they didn't get nerfs but everything above them got nerfs, that should put them in a pretty good position for season 4. Are they going to be meta though? Well there's two big issues with them. The first one is the short range which is still going to be there in season 4. And even if you're fine with this and you play in an organized team where this is actually not an issue, the other two specs augmentation and devastation also seem to be doing quite well in season 4. So that means that people wouldn't want to stack the same class in M+, and not too many evokers in rate either, so that means that it's probably not going to be meta for this specific reason. However, if you enjoy the class this is definitely going to be a very good pick. And although the other two specs are doing quite well you should have no problem getting into groups as Evoker is probably one of the least played classes in WoW right now. As for meta classes Druid is probably still going to be up there because it only got 5% nerf which is not something that you're going to feel significantly specifically in M+. It brings a lot to the table both in the HPS and the DPS department and although Guardian Druid seems to be doing quite well next season because of the amazing tier set that they're getting, the best tank is still probably going to remain Vengeance Demon Hunter, simply because they bring a lot of CC and control to the table, so that means that if you play Restoration Druid you probably won't get into the problem of stacking too many Druids into one group. So simply said, if you're in doubt Restoration Druid is probably a very good pick if not the best for season 4. All of these things probably stand true for the Mistweaver Monk as well. It did get the biggest nerf of 13% reduced healing which is gonna be more noticeable in rate, although that's a big chunk and you are going to fill it a little bit in M plus as well. But the output is still going to be there, both DPS and HPS and the other two monk specs are not doing that well next season so you will not be competing with other people for spots either in M plus or raid. Not to mention that the gameplay style feels amazing on the Mist River monk it is keeping the amazing tier set bonus and despite the nerfs it's still going to be at the top of the charts so this is the other very solid pick for next season and you definitely won't make a mistake if you decide to pick this among other options. When it comes to priests both specs are actually doing quite well, this has been dominating during season 3, it's keeping its tier set, the healing in M plus is not going to get nerfed only the rate one is. 
and Holy Priest actually got some buffs during the season to bring it back up in the charts. So overall, if you decide to play both packs, you're gonna be in a pretty good place next season. The only problem basically with the Priest packs right now is Shadow Priest. Pretty much the same problem as the Evokers, Shadow Priest has been rising through the ranks at the end of Season 3 and it's gonna be even better in Season 4. That's probably not gonna be a problem in Raid, but if Shadow Priest has one guaranteed spot in M plus next season, that means that the healer is probably not going to be a priest most likely. The healing specs though are going to be doing quite nice, so if you're not a meta chaser and you wanna play one or two of the healing priest specs, you are going to be quite fine. Those were all the solid picks, now let's talk about Restoration Shaman. It gets 5% healing nerf, but it's also getting its first tier set bonus, just because the tier sets of the Restoration Shaman were so bad during this expansion, that there's basically nothing better to pick. The Season 1 sets though were significantly weaker than the follow-ups, just because in Season 1 we were supposedly getting used to the new talents in Dragonflight, so by design, the tier set bonuses were not that impactful. That plus the 5% healing nerf is definitely not going to propel the shaman upwards in the charts, most likely it's going to be the opposite direction. I think it's still going to do fine both in M+, and Raid, not as bad as the next class that we're going to be talking about, but if you want a solid pick, it's probably better to look elsewhere in some of the specs that we talked about so far. And while on this topic, let's mention the H pow very quickly over here. Basically, the TLDR for me on this class is just don't play it. You guys probably know that I love the class, I love the spec, I love H pow, but right now, healing on it, playing it in M plus feels so bad that I ended up playing Retribution and Tank spec at the end of the season just because I didn't want to heal on it. And that brings me back to my initial point, instead of nerfing the other classes, I think Blizzard should have buffed the h pow specifically, because feeling so bad just makes people not want to play it, and nerfing the other classes is not going to change that fact. If you feel like playing it, you can still push keys on it, you can still succeed, but it's not going to feel that good compared to the other classes. So as sad as it feels to say that, I would suggest look elsewhere for season 4 unless you want to play the DPS or the tank specs. And lastly let's mention my own picks for season 4 and the plans that I have for it. I am actually going to stick to the restoration shaman for the sole reason that my new raid team wants me to heal and they want me to heal on the shaman. And as this is going to be my main in raid, I'm definitely going to play it in M+, of course, but I would assume that many of the keys that I'll be playing there are also going to be as enhancement instead of restoration, as DPS is definitely going to feel better in some particular dungeons, for example Brackenheight Hollow where you don't have disease dispel, which feels horrible. But of course I'm still going to heal on it, so plenty of content coming up for that. As for oats, I'm still going to stick to the Mistweaver Monk, I just love this class way too much not to play it. And I will try to keep all the rest of the classes geared, just so they're prepared for the war within, specifically the Preservation Evoker and the Paladin, although the later one I'll probably play more as Retribution and Prot instead of Holy. I do hope that I'll have the time to play all the healer classes again, but I'm also going to devote some time to the remix of Pandaria, since I've never played that expansion. So we're going to see how everything shapes up in Season 4. So do let me know what do you guys plan to play in Season 4, what is your favorite class and is there something that you don't want to play specifically. I'll see you in the next video, now get out of here.